Okay, guys, forgive the background noise, LDBC. Let's just get right to it, okay? Now, look at the look on this man's face, okay? He looks like he's having a good time. Um, looks like, you know, he's enjoying himself. Well, he is, okay? He's enjoying himself with a married woman. Now, this is the last look that this man ever had on his face. And the last person that he ever was seeing his whole life is the woman that he's cheating with, okay? This woman knows she was married. Now, I don't know if he knew she was married. I don't know. Maybe he did know. Maybe he didn't care because a lot of people, they mess with married people. They mess with them and they don't care if the person is actually married. They, they really don't give a damn if that person is married, got kids, they don't care. There's one thing in life I just won't do. I don't care how beautiful the woman is, I don't cheat with married women. I let them, they go do what they do because there's so many, my, my mind process is, there's so many other females out here why I gotta cheat with someone who got somebody? Like, it just don't make no sense. I don't mess with married women. Now, if they got a boyfriend, yeah, that's a whole nother story. They're not married, they didn't take committed vows. They don't, you know, have anything invested because marriage is a business. A girlfriend or a boyfriend, you can just leave them and ain't no attachments, you can just go. Okay, but a married woman, I, I, don't, I don't even consider it. I don't even go to it, I don't even try it. Because I understand that the wages of infidelity is death. People say, coach, well not every time a person died, yeah, they didn't die right then and there. Okay, they didn't die right then and there, but see, it's a thing called karma that comes back. And whatever you put out there in the universe, it comes back to you. This is the last thing, see, what was happening is they were having lunch and, you know, I guess the husband had found out that she had been cheating. And, and trust me, he didn't, the guy just didn't go kill him, okay? Trust me, it took a while of him, like, figuring out that this is what she was doing. And so, when it happened, men, okay, grown men, we do have a kill switch within us, okay? Uh, much more so, it's more prevalent in men than, than in women. We got a kill switch. We just, we have that in us where we'll forget all sense of reality, all rational reasoning, and we just kill. Okay, that's embedded within every single man on the planet. Even the most wimpiest of dudes, they got a kill switch. The only way you turn it on is if you affect him in a way that affects him emotionally. When you get a guy in his emotions, he can't think straight. That's why men should never make a man should never make a decision when he in his emotions. He should never do it. Okay, women they're emotional creatures. Okay, they can they they're emotional. Men normally naturally shouldn't be emotional. We have a kill switch called testosterone, and unfortunately, the good and bad of testosterone it gives us strength, but also it just turns us into complete animals, savages. Yeah, yeah. But the thing of it is, man. You know, he was cheating. He was cheating with this woman. And so when the guy, you know, shot him, he shot him first. The wife jumps up to stop him from trying to shoot the man. But then he turns the gun on her and kills her. Why do I say, you know, why am I telling you all this? There are some people right now watching this video. You probably thinking about cheating on your spouse. OK, so be it. You want to cheat on your spouse? That's a great thing. If you don't want to be in a committed relationship, that's a great thing. Just get out of the relationship. I don't understand why cheat. Yeah, you might have to pay some alimony. But listen, would you rather pay some alimony monthly? Okay, or would you just rather get out? Okay, or would you just pay her, pay her some money uh, because you were too dumb to get a prenup? We can talk about that in another video. Okay, would you rather just pay this woman a couple of dollars in alimony a month or would you rather be dead? Which one? Okay, because I can tell you right now, the later isn't going to be your destination, okay? I mean, the later will probably be your destination if you just try to do it under the down low and then you try to, you know, try to keep everything a wrap so you can still have her and cheat. But then, you know, have your mistress on the side or whoever you got or woman, you know, you have your, your dude on the side and then you, you try to keep your husband. It don't last forever. Eventually. OK, the person that you're cheating on, they're going to find out you're cheating. It's a matter of time. They will find out that you're cheating. They, they will, because. People understand, you know, habits. People understand patterns. People understand things that you do normally that's not normal. People get it. People get it. And they begin to figure you out. You'll be found out. I promise. You'll be found out eventually. And when you get found out, <laughs> what you gonna do? You're gonna suffer the consequences. And the consequences of infidelity, the majority of the time, is death. You can't deny, you can't get away from it. You can't get away from it. And even, even, you know, her, you know, seeing that this guy got shot, guess, guess, guess who she defended? <laughs> she defended the dude. 
she defended the dude that, that she was cheating with. Ain't that crazy, God? She was defending a guy who was her, who her other dude. The husband comes over. You know, he just, he was done. He was done. But folks, if you cheating, your husband, he's going to find out. Your wife, she going to find out. The woman might not kill you as fast. She might not do that. But see, she going to get you in a whole nother way. And I mean, she going to get you in a whole nother way. In a way that's going to drain you mentally. And when your mind is gone, you're pretty much already dead. That's why I tell people, the wages of infidelity is death. Especially when they find out. Especially when your wife or your spouse or your significant other, when they find out, it's over for you. You're done. There's nothing you can do. You see, the thing of it is, people, they don't want to get out of a relationship. They don't want to get out of it because in their minds, in their minds, it's exciting, you know? It's very exhilarating to them, you know? They, it, it's, it's like a rush that the person gets. It's like this rush that the person gets. And so when they get this rush, it's like, oh, hey, how you doing? It's like they get this rush. You know, and when you get a rush, what do you do? You want to have the thrill of excitement. You want to keep having excitement. You want to keep, you know, keep it up. You want to keep up the, 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 the charade, the, the charade, the facade. See, you want to keep that up because it's a rush. And the more you get a rush, the more you want to experience the rush. That's what people do. That's what people do. That's why. That's why people always go, I'm going to take that out of there. Grab that. Hold on, y'all. Okay, thank you. Appreciate you. Later. That's why people mess with married people. People say, why, why people don't want to mess with these single people? Because there's not a rush in that. You see, the thrill of getting caught, it's a rush. And people love that PG-13 channel. They love it. But see, this thrill, and this woman thought she was getting something better than what she had at home. You know, I, I was talking to one of my friends, and she married. This was like, what, on Monday? And she was saying, well, you know, my husband, we just, I don't know, we just, we don't get along anymore. We don't do this, we don't do that. And I said, well, have you, have you talked to him? She said, well, yeah, but he don't listen and blah, blah, blah. I said, listen, communication is key. If there's no communication, there's no relationship. You must understand that. So I told her, I don't think you try to communicate very well. Because if you talk to him and listen, and he don't know that there's something wrong with you? I said, that's a problem. But I said, no real man, if he thinks that you're about to leave, or if you tell him that you're leaving, he's going to stop and listen. Most real men, they're going to they're gonna listen. They're going to listen, and they're going to try to talk to you and explain that, hey, baby, it's going to be okay. Most real men, they're going to stop and listen. Now, you got some of them that don't care. You know, you got some of these dudes that don't care. But for the most part, most dudes, they're going to they gonna stop and listen. They're going to be like, baby, what's wrong? Hey, hold on, hold on. What's going on? They're going to do that. But I told her, I said, is it because you want to cheat? Is it because you really deep down you want to cheat? I said, you ain't been thinking about cheating. I said, you want to cheat or you probably already have. And when I said that, her face, her face just dropped. Her face just dropped. I said, yeah. I said, listen, you can't fool me. Okay, you can't fool me. There's nothing you can do. I understand. I understand what you what, what you got on your mind, but I say, hey, the minute you go do it, your husband got a kill switch. Oh, you know, <laughs> he don't have that. I mean, come on. I said, okay. I proved you. I proved to you that he got one. Have your husband ever thought that somebody was trying to hurt you and your family? She said, yeah. What did he do? Oh, he got enraged and he went to go get the guns. I said. I rest my case and her face she got it when she got it she said oh she said well I'm gonna need to talk to him I said you better talk to him you better talk to him because I said if you go cheat on him and you don't really break it off properly you just go do it and he find out and I said he probably gonna kill you and he gonna kill you and the person that you're thinking about cheating with I said take that for food for thought but I told her that now I don't know if she listened I don't know if she listened I hope she did but you have to understand that kill switch. Because most of the time, now I've seen some women, they go all out, they go crazy. I've, I've seen that, right? I've seen some women go crazy. But most of the time, 
the man is going to get very irate when he's got to defend his family. Most of the time, the man's going to get in there. He's going to take that. He's going to get in there and take that. Okay, he's he coming to get whoever it is. He's going to get into protector mode. It's, it's our natural instinct to protect. That's what men do. It's, it's our natural, you know, God-inherited, you know, instinct to, to go into protector mode. Okay, that's why, you know, men are always fighting and men don't really, they don't, a man will engage a fight. He'll do it. But that's protector mode. And every single man on the planet under God's hot sun, that's, that switch is in us. The problem is, though, man, people are trifling. People are trifling as hell. They're real trifling. And they don't care nowadays, man. They don't care. You see, back in the older days, you would cheat. But see, it was a little bit harder to try to, it was, it was harder to figure out because back then, there was no technology, you know? It wasn't a lot of technology, so you didn't have all these phones and all these people capturing stuff and all these surveillance cameras and, you know, all these checking your people. Because back then, you know, really, you didn't have a phone. You didn't have a phone. It's crazy. So you couldn't, like, now, you catching a cheater, it's a little bit easier. It's actually easier than it was back then. I mean, boy, back then, boy, women had to used to work hard, man. People used to have to work hard to catch these people cheating. Now, I'm just, man, you're going to catch them. But just don't be surprised. You get caught cheating, don't be surprised if somebody try to take your life. It might even be the spouse of the person you're cheating with. They may come to try to get you. Because, see, this is out of order. See, if there's no balance, if there's no balance, when anything, anything that's out of balance, Chaos, death, and destruction happens. If there's balance, then there's harmony. Like right now, <laughs> the world, the whole world is out of balance. It's out of balance. There is no balance. It's gone. That's why we're in chaos now. See, infidelity, folks, please understand. Okay, please understand and listen. Okay? I know people right now. Okay? People right now. And I'm talking about, they not dead yet, but man, they one foot in the grave. Because they chose to be infidel. And I'm talking about this is years ago. It's something about that, man. You got to atone for that. You got to atone for that. You have to atone for that. Folks, you don't have to cheat. There's so many other people, you don't need a rush. Just get out the relationship and move on. Me, if it's me, I, I'd much rather just pay the money. But nah, I wouldn't pay nothing because... <laughs> I'm smart enough to get a prenuptial. 